Hey everybody, what's up? Sean Hatzel here. So I have a really cool video series based on exercise and training this week on the blog. And it's to celebrate the launch of our four cycle solution exercise and training accelerator pack. And whether or not you're interested in that package or not, you're going to want to pay attention on the blog this week because I'm going to have a ton of cool stuff for you in relation to exercise and training and the free report that I put together for you guys. So today is all about rep range lactic acid training or what I've called or coined the growth hormone multiplier. Now this is specifically designed with short rest intervals in a wide variety of rep ranges to increase production of lactate. So the reason that this happens is because you'll anaerobically break down glycogen when you do this and that's what causes that burning sensation when you train with weights. And for those of you who have trained intensely before you felt this sensation and if you haven't felt this burn before, you'll feel it at a whole new level with this workout and you'll produce so much lactate that you could potentially produce up to nine times normal amount growth hormone. And this is huge, it's significant. Now, additionally, because you'll be hitting your muscles with different rep ranges, you'll really stack the deck in your favor, not only hormonally, but because of those different rep ranges, you'll also be working type one and type two muscle fibers. So you'll really get a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to muscle endurance and fat loss. So here's a couple of video examples. I'm going to show you how it works. Before I dive in, let me show you the protocol that I'm about ready to cover. So here's a little example of shoulder. So the protocol is, is this, eight reps, rest 10 seconds, 12 reps, rest 10 seconds, 25 reps, okay? So three sets in a row. Each set is going to progressively be lighter in weight, and it's always going to be for the same body part. Um, so you're going to start out with a heavier weight for the set of eight reps, which means you're going to work fast twitch muscle fibers, which have more force and more strength. So you can go heavier, rest 10 seconds, going to 12 reps, and then 10 seconds go to 25 reps. And what that's going to do is it's going to move you into slow twitch muscle fibers, which have more endurance. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Now, after you move through this cycle, as you move through this cycle, you can either use the same exact exercise for the same body part, or you can pick three different exercises for the same body part. And after you move through the round of three sets, You'll rest two minutes like I'm highlighting down here, and then you'll go again, and then you probably should complete about three rounds if possible, and then if you're a little bit more experienced, you can actually start doing four rounds. So let's talk about how it works here. I have a little example doing shoulder presses. I'm starting out with a heavier weight, and I have all three sets of dumbbells ready to go by me, so you have to pre-plan ahead of time. So I'm going at a slow tempo, doing eight reps right here, and as soon as I'm done doing those eight heavy reps, I set down the weight, obviously using my legs, immediately, no rest at all, move to the next exercise, another shoulder exercise, bend over, rear lateral raises, so I'm working the back of the shoulders, now I'm picking up the tempo a little bit, going 12 reps, as soon as I'm done there, I immediately sit down, no rest at all, go right to a shoulder shrug where I perform 25 reps and I'm picking up the pace even faster as far as my tempo goes. And this is what's really starting to produce the lactate or, you know, the growth hormone. So here is another quick example. This time, shoulders again, I'm doing a side lateral raise with a heavier weight. And you can see I have all three sets of, of dumbbells right there ready to go. And I recommend that you do this. You have to plan ahead of time. So I move through eight reps. Then I immediately drop it. Now I believe I move to a front raise. From a side lateral raise, I go to a front raise. I go ahead and do 12 reps. And I'm going at a medium pace. And then I set it down. And now I move to 25 reps. And you can see my form starts to get a little bit worse because I'm starting to wear out. And when you do the set of 25 reps, you're going to... That is when you're really going to feel the fire if you've never felt that burning sensation in your muscles before. Okay, now let's kind of talk about a couple items that will really help you out with some important tips and tricks to maximize this process and kind of take it home so you can use it. If you use a um, commercial gym or a health club, slackers might steal your machines if you're trying to do three different exercises. So 
That's why it might be important that you do the same exercise with three different weights or do variations of the same exercise, maybe like a different grip or a different position like I just did from side raises to front raises. And then I did an example here like you did, uh, you could do a wide grip lat pull down, um, do a narrow grip lat pull down, and then go to an under grip lat pull down. So just using three different grips following that protocol. And then again, try to do three circuits. Advanced people can do four. And then this is cool right here. And it's going to naturally progress this way. Use a slow tempo on the set of eight reps, a medium tempo on the set of 12, and then a faster tempo on the set of 25. And then use a timer, obviously, and stick to that two minutes. It's important that you stick to that two-minute rest period because um, you might not be able to finish the next round if you don't rest a full two minutes. Now, doing fewer reps than what is prescribed Remember, it's not going to stimulate lactate, so it's not going to produce enough growth hormone. So remember, when you're doing this set of 25, you might lose your grip. You might have to stop and pause for five seconds, set it down, pick it back up again, and then go again. Just hit your number 25. I mean, it's going to hurt, but it's definitely worth it. So there is an example of the growth hormone multiplier and the rep range lactic acid training. I hope you guys got something out of this video. The free report that I wrote, if you haven't got that yet, you can download that below this video as well. Make sure you click the like button, and then I'm going to be back in a couple days. I'm going to be back with what I call the afterburn accelerators, a totally different technique than this. It's a lot more body weight training based. And then in the meantime, make sure that you pay close attention to your inbox. Tomorrow, I'm going to be sending out an email about the special VIP sale that we got going on just this week only for the four cycle solution exercise and training package. So thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good day.